This is Talk of Asian Marketing with a special emphasis on localized Chinese consumer behavior. at the Costco opening for Talk of Asian Marketing. We've got a special guest here, Jane Liu from the Marketing Department at Zhongxin University, Hi. which is my colleague, actually. And here we've got the man of the hour, <laughs> <laughs> the man you've been waiting to see. You've heard him on the podcast, and here he really is, James Stanworth from Tsinghua University. Right. Well, Clyde, it's really good to be here. I'm we can see all these huge queues behind us. Well, you haven't seen anything. Oh, this morning, you guys missed the show. Okay? I don't know where you were. The line went all the way around the store, and it was packed, just totally packed. Everybody's lining up for their free gifts with some really eggs and some, some special breakfast thingy. But just incredibly packed. Now, I ran into somebody from marketing, and they told me that their membership drive has been the most successful so far of any store in Taiwan. I know you and I have done a lot of work on this. James, you've done a lot of work on some UK stores. Jane, what do you think about this store so far? Any general impression how you think it's going? I think the competitive is so intense in Taiwan, and this market is going to increase the competitiveness in Taiwan, for sure. That's for sure. We're going to see how long Costco is going to stand in the market. That sounds, that sounds a little bit... Yeah. So you're saying Costco is going to face stiff competition in Taichung? It's a very competitive already. We've got the Carry Four, we've got the the, the Xi'an, we've got the all these uh, hypermart in Taichung already. Yeah. yeah. And the population is then growing very fast. Uh, so but the store see. in Kaohsiung, supposedly the store in Kaohsiung is the most successful store to date. It's doing great business, supposedly. Now I've used this comparison. I've said that you know Taipei is kind of like a New York City kind of thing, yeah. a, kind of a London. Um, Kaohsiung is kind of like a Detroit or a Pittsburgh, <laughs> right? What's Taichung like? I don't like a more traditional city in Taiwan. Traditional? And how would that tradi how do you think that traditional would affect this? Because you know, I came out here today, I was really surprised. We didn't see a lot of young people. We saw a lot of older people, a lot of uh, mothers or grandmothers it looked like. I was really impressed. Yeah, people here like to shop at the traditional market because they are used to it. And here a lot of uh, old generation they are here to see the store. Yeah. We will see if they will be the real customers to the store. Well, that's kind of what James is talking about. What do you think of that, that, that seeing it thing? Yeah, I think that's absolutely right. Just what Jane's saying, it's so interesting that what we're seeing here is people walking out with many of the traditional hypermarket items, the sort of the eggs and packaged goods and none of the fresh produce. And just like Jane was saying, I think everyone's going to get tempted to stay with the traditional market for many of those. Yeah. produce that you, you, you've looked at so many times in yeah, the yeah. wet market. So. Yeah, I, we're going to go in a little bit later, we're going to take our consumer cams in and look around. But yeah, I'm a little bit suspicious about how much of that fresh food they're going to have. You know, I was just uh, going over some of my own research. We did a wide area survey, very parallel to yours, and we, we actually asked about refrigerator size. Uh -huh. And we had uh, people from all over the island, a really large response group. And, and, you know, how do you measure refrigerator size? Well, we asked them, how many chickens can you fit in the refrigerator, right? <laughs> we asked them, how many measure. cans of Taiwan beer can you fit in there if it's empty, right? <laughs> and the average size for a freezer is just three chickens. Three Ooh. chickens. Three chickens. That's so telling. That's, uh, so telling. That tells a lot. Yeah, that's average, right? Yeah. And the average for a refrigerator, I think, was seven chickens. So you're not going to be buying a lot of frozen stuff and putting it back in your refrigerator if that's your space. Yeah, that's that's absolutely. But Jane, you got a big refrigerator, right? You got a big freezer, right? I don't. You don't? I don't. I don't buy broilers. I don't buy broilers at all. Do you buy everything fresh? I, I buy I buy parts. Parts, fresh, fresh parts. No, not fresh. It's frozen. Yeah. Frozen. That's so tough. Yeah, you know, in our research, we find that buying frozen doesn't stop people from buying fresh, and buying fresh doesn't stop them from buying frozen, but. A lot of people combine the two channels right together. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, just like I mean, my wife, uh, we have a joke at home, there's the pellets for the kids mm -hmm. and there's the pellets for the dog. Mm -hmm. She goes to buy the frozen parts for the kids at the weekend, mm -hmm. but then most of the time for the fresh stuff we're going to eat, it's mm -hmm. straight down to the wet market and it's just such a pattern here. That's interesting. So let me get that straight. 
The fresh is for the husband. <laughs> <laughs> and the frozen is for the doggy, right? That's right. Processed for the doggy, right? Mm. Okay, somehow that makes sense. Yeah, well, it's a very exciting day today. I mean, it's really interesting. You can see it's packed behind us, and it's Friday. Friday about noontime. Um, somebody have told me they think it might be busy for a while. Jane, what do you think is going to happen in the next couple of months? Uh, we will see because people are coming here. We can see that a lot of people coming in and going out that they don't have really huge packages with them. So yeah. the thing is that they come here to see if they still tra attract this kind of traffic in stores. Might be some people would come in and then buy a few stuff and then just for cheaper prices. Uh, but the competitive is so intense and the people coming here and they, if they're seeing a long distance, they don't want to come in just for a few things. Uh, so the thing is uh, that they want to attract people, see that they, they give out the eggs instead of other souvenirs uh, for customers coming on the first day. So eggs, yeah. we will see if they, yeah. people will come in for just the grocery or for house utilities, uh, that would make differences. So they might yeah. compete in house utilities because people can store them yeah. any dry places. So, but Stuff, the, but Stuff you can keep inside food, your house. Yeah, yeah but the fresh food, um, it's very, going to be hard. Yeah, that, James, any a, thought on that? I, I think the other thing is, because James has been talking about the slightly longer term, but I think the shorter term thing is really interesting too, that like you were saying much earlier, there's huge crowds. I mean, still behind us, we've got these huge snaking crowds. Yeah. And that's just so, the idea that I think you've written about, I know Clyde, is this whole idea of everyone following the group. You know, and there's this huge interest now, but I wonder like, at the weekend, the next few days, how strong that interest is going to be, you know, that whole how long going to really hold us. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's There's huge been interest. so many examples of stores and they get a lot of attention at the beginning and then it kind of falls it off. off. Taichung is really a special city this way. I think Tainan is too, actually. Taichung and Tainan are really your core kind of cultural locations. And we're going to see if Costco can really make it here, you know, in the long run, not the short run. But for today, it's very exciting. Yes, right? I agree. You know, if we go over there, we can get free eggs. Did you bring your card? I do. <laughs> <laughs> go check well, it out. Well, we'll go check it out, and we're going to go in with our consumer cam and take some shots. That's real good. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.